Hi everyone, I'm going to make an adjun on page today and it's kind of grey and dreary outside so I figured I need some colour. So uh, I've taken some pages from my uh, notebook for uh, excess paint that I all, I've showed you many times and I also took some pages out of uh, this uh, dictionary which I all also use for excess paint so I've got these uh, pieces to play with some painty paper and I'm moving this aside I haven't worked in my art journal in a book for quite some time so I figured this is the place to start so I'm just going to uh, well I am planning on tearing some uh, some of this and start to glue and I don't have a real <laughs> plan for this it's mostly a laying down the pieces and creating some a background with paint from these pieces I am more a, interested in the color and less in the design or pattern that I have on my uh, pages so I'm using a glue stick it's a uh, really it's thin paper so it doesn't need anything more uh, drastic than the glue stick and well as I said I'm just going to glue pieces and hope to create a first interesting layer there's going to be a uh, some stenciling on top of it and we'll see where it goes I'm uh, taking the pieces that have straight edges and using them for the outside of my pages like so as I said this is quite random yeah let's put it here and I'm not even concerned about a um, filling the whole a uh, page I don't mind if I have this maybe I will uh, cover it I don't know yet I'm just starting laying down pieces and we'll see what happens and I've got some a uh, some of uh, this sticking out I will trim it later so moving to another uh, page let's see I told you many times before when I'm doing anything like this any collaging I'm trying to use at least three pieces in several uh, places on my uh, page and I don't know it just works for me you don't have to <laughs> So 
of lots and lots of color and I'm also trying like in this page I've got uh, all kinds of areas with uh, different colors and I'm trying to take if I took from the side of the a lot of yellow I want to incorporate pieces from the other uh, colors just for the interest trying to be quick about it because this is really just the first layer and uh, there is going to be quite a lot more and so I don't wish to spend a lot of time on that the cap for the glue stick don't know why and let's take another flower again three don't want straight edges so I'm taking here we go now I'm thinking that I need more <laughs> from I really like these flowers uh, they are adding to my page so I'm going to take the rest of them That's it. So uh, I think I just I feel like I need a little bit more of this uh, yellow. I really like it. So just a few pieces to add. There we go. One here and yeah. Just so I will have more uh, areas with more like uh, on my page. That's the best <laughs> explanation I can give you. Okay. Here we go. So, first layer. And now I'm taking a yellow acrylic paint and I'm just going to dip my finger in it and I want to play and like mix and make everything I don't know 
blend, merge together, be more cohesive. And now I'm thinking that maybe I will reach out for something more orangey. Oops. Let's see. Just so I will have more interest. Here we go. So I'm just alternating between the yellow and the orange and it doesn't really matter. This is quite random. really starting to like what's going on here it's a great first layer to work on I am kind of eliminating a, any white I have from tearing the pages this time it doesn't do anything for the background so I just went over the places that I had white. And of, I'm also adding in few places on top of pieces that I just feel they need a little bit more color. There are no rules to it, just what you like. Okay, this is a first layer is finished. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back. I'm back. So this is dry and I want to start stenciling a, around my, a, my page. I've got gesso here and I've got this... A, stencil and let's see <laughs> where it goes I'm taking a little bit of gesso on a makeup sponge and I have, I'm, I've taken a little bit because I want a, I just want to tone down a, some areas in the background and add interest I'm not looking to a cover with white and if I wanted uh, to cover it completely with white I uh, would probably need several layers so it will take yeah like this so it did work and Let's do one here. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult because I have the fold here. But we'll do what we can. Okay, let's see, where do I want another one? And do I want it here? I kind of want to keep, I don't know, daisies, <laughs> whatever they are. Yeah, I want to keep them so I don't want to cover them. Let's see. 
maybe here. So now I want some that will get uh, off my page. I like when I have elements slipping out uh, of my page. So I think it gives a more uh, natural, organic uh, feel to the page. Best explanation I can give you. <laughs> Do I want another one? If I want another one, it, it's quite intuitive. It, it's not planned. So just a little bit in the corner. And maybe picking here. And let's do another corner. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So this is it. Now I am. I want. I we had um, electricity shorted. Uh, shortage. So now everything is coming back. So you hear the noises like my printer coming back to life. And I'm thinking that I want this stencil to be all around my page, but not the whole uh, thing, just hints of it. And I'm going to try and use, I've got this picked raspberry uh, distress ink. And let's see, I hope that this kind of pink will uh, give me a nice magenta. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for. So it did work. Again, going randomly and very quickly no thinking too much <laughs> I'm just putting it down where I think I need it oh I really like how it it's going yeah okay so uh, that's what I wanted here and now I've got this uh, stamp, I uh, almost forgotten about it, I've got this sun stamp I've made from craft foam and I'm thinking of stamping here somewhere, I think here and let's uh, try this, I don't know how it will take, I used acrylic paint on this stamp before so I think the craft foam is like absorbing the acrylic paint and then it's hard to work with ink pads on top of it but let's see putting it here putting pressure and hoping it will work No, not really. <laughs> so, okay. 
I am going to let this dry the ink this uh, so I can salvage it and do something with the sun and I'll be back I'm back so try to go with Posca pen around this and it reacted with ink so it's kind of pinky and not quite white and I'm going to take this is luscious lemon and I'm going to try and make this sun more uh, defined and I'm just picking up a little bit and just going in nothing uh, to it maybe uh, with a little bit of gesso just to make it uh, stand out a little bit more and I think the ink is quite dominant and I'm getting pink but never mind it's not that uh, important to me I just wanted uh, wanted it to stand out more So as you can see I'm just going in with the acrylic paint Maybe later I'll do another uh, layer so it will take more We'll see. Don't know how uh, how much I care that it's not that prominent. Okay, so leaving this be for the time being, and I'm gonna take now a masking tape, and I'm just putting it right now on on my blouse just so the adhesive won't be uh, that. Uh, that hard and let's see how I'm going <laughs> to make this like this and another one and I'm going to take again a, a makeup sponge and this and very very gently because I'm not looking for coverage and fading like this I'm gonna try and be gentle about it again doing the same thing and until it fades oops I'll fix it later it doesn't really uh, matter I just want some sunshine rays let's see maybe instead of masking tape I'll just take a piece of paper let's see piece of paper and just make 
the next one. That's the problem, it moves. And fading, not enough on my sponge, yeah, again the same thing, I'm going to continue doing some rays and I'll be back. I'm back, so I kept uh, <laughs> going with acrylics uh, here so I would have less of the pink from the ink underneath and more uh, yellow and finished doing the rays and only went uh, with white Posca pen on these flowers just so they will uh, pop up a little bit more now uh, someone asked me what am I doing while waiting uh, for things to dry and I wanted to show you what uh, I usually do first of all uh, excess paint went here I only had little if you remember I had little here so it went uh, on this page and I just took uh, this ink pad and this ink, uh, this uh, stamp set. I d didn't even bother to take it out of the acetate. I just stamped it like this. And now I have another painty paper to use for another project. And I took all the uh, leftovers from the pages that I used here and started to glue them in my junk journal. And now I've got this page already prepared to do something on it. So that's what I've done while <laughs> waiting for this to dry. Now I just want to write something and I'm using, this is a calligraphy felt pen by Zig. And let's see, and it has two tips. I'll use, I think, the smaller one and let's hope for the best. I want it a little bit quirky which is good because my my writing is awful most of the time so let's see create and I want to uh, do a I don't want to use the same font for a uh, that matter. I want it, as I said, quirky. Uh, so I'm trying to do something <laughs> different. Come on. Let's see. Well, that's the best that I can do. <laughs> Create your own sunshine. And this is it. Uh, that's my page. I hope you liked it. I hope you'll use your scripts to do something beautiful. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.